Hi, today we're going to be taking on Boston Review look at Double X Verb Essential Blast Blast Captain's Wheel Metal Fidget Spinner. $9.99, 10 bucks at Tart. So if you're looking for this, go check out Tart. That's what I picked this one up at. So it comes in Blast, Black, Pink, and Blue. Made in China, no website. So let's open this up and tailor it. Alright, nice little tin that comes in. There we go. So it looks nice so why do they call this like captain's wheel or a pirate or a pirate wheel I think what's the other name that goes by but usually goes by captain's wheel because you know it kind of looks like the captain's wheel like R to port hard white to starboard matey you know like one of those little captain's wheels which you know are still on cruise line ships today, of course now they have it all digitally program on the computer and stuff to set a course to destinations and stuff. But you know, manual over white, they still could grab the steering wheel and steal it. So yeah. Is this the module one? There has been a module one floating around line for a good while now. On each of the arms you could take the arms off. It has rubber all wings each all wing, it has like five all wings on each arm. White, red, blue, green, orange. You can get it on like all the major mainstream spinner sites like Spinner Craft, Spinner Tat, Spinner Life, and you know, all those ones. You can also get it on like Amazon, I want to say between 15 and 25 dollars, which is not a bad price. 15 to 25 bucks on Amazon, while all the other companies are charging like at least. 45 to 60 something for it. Yikes. Not including shipping and handling, but yeah. So, spin's pretty good. Let's get the better spin on here. So, it spins good both ways. Usually, fit experience, they spin better if you spin it one way forward or back to it. So, yeah. Is this one a monitor one? Yes, we can actually unscrew the arms, which. Let me set this down for a second before I drop it. Kind of like, almost like light bulbs, like the 40 and 60 watt light bulbs, you know, that you screw into the little light fixtures. So I'm going to call these light bulbs. They look pretty cool. So let's kind of. Here's a 5 spinner. Kind of does a little spinner warp. And you can kind of feel the weight shaking back and forth and stuff. Let's tear off another one. And turn it into a forearm or a X spinner. Yeah, it spins okay. Why not tear off two more arms? And turn it into a bar spinner. Yeah, not the good. And let's take off, go ahead and take off all the arms. And turn it into a coin spinner. Which is kind of what the idea of the other one was. A modular one you can have as six arms, four arms, two arms as a bar spinner, and a coin spinner. So you have a lot of different options. So it's like buying essentially four different spinners. A six arm spinner, four arm spinner, a bar spinner, and a coin spinner. As a coin spinner, yeah it spins but not the best. So let's go ahead and reattach all the arms on here. So 
So I guess the idea is if you wanted to, you could come up with your own crazy design, let them one that you could put a brass, the uh, blue, the pink, the black arms all on one, so you kind of have like different arms and stuff, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's give it a little spin test here. And as you know, with this one, this double X vib, that you know, I bought it over at Walmart. I don't like this one. The button cap and the bearings push right on through to the other side versus you know a standard one that you have to actually tear off the little button caps from both sides and then push the bearing on through, so why not? Two standard plastic ones versus two metal ones, both from the Viv company and both from other companies. So yeah. Just a little spin test to see which one's better from the Viv company. Is plastic ones gonna spin better versus metal ones? Metal versus metal, plastic versus plastic ish, so it's not like, oh, the Viv one's metal one's better than the plastic one. No, it could be that I know I press one's better than, you know, this vid metal one. So if you're like, why are you spinning all four? So you kind of have an idea of what they're going to spin, which one's going to die out faster, which one's going to still stay spinning and stuff. So yeah, loser, loser. Um, it's a close tie. Loser, and then this one, fine one. It came close to being a tie between these two. But eventually only one can win. So yeah. Let's move these all out of the way here. Can you unscrew the button cast to change the bearings in here? Yep. And then this side you just unscrew it, which this one seems to be on here really tight. But the idea is you unscrew this little brass piece on this side. <clears throat> and inside there like all metal ones. It's a R188 bearing. You know, I had to do it as a pirate because, you know, Captain's Wheel, R180, hard to port, hard to starlight. Yeah. So, R188 bearings are always going to be in metal ones versus Ciso 8 and plastic. I know someone might say if they're new to it, but can't you just use the Ciso 8 and a metal one and vice versa? No. They're different size bearings. R188 are like these small, small little, like, teeny tiny little bearings. While a Ciso 8 is like big old jumbo giant bearings. So, uh, yeah, that's the difference. So as you can see here, this is like a Ciso 8. You know, I know this one's a press weight in there, but for example, that's a Ciso 8 versus, you know, Something about the size of this little hole here, which obviously is a little bit better, but R188, just so you kind of have the difference in the size comparison. Because I know some new bees out there might be like, well, what's the difference? R188 are smaller, and usually when you buy them for replacement bearings, you get both casts. So you get a bearing and both casts for like three or four bots. At least on Amazon, which is not a bad price. Because you get in spear button caps. And your replacement bearing. Well, uh, button caps for these guys usually are a little bit more if you get them on Spirit Life and Spin Tag, you know, other ones for 6 to 8. But yeah, like I said, if you want to pick this up, head over to Target, nine ninety nine, about 10 bucks. It's the price for this. So yeah, that has been the unboxing review for the Double X Vib Essential Brass Metallic or Brass Metal Modular Captain Wheels. Fidget Spinner. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.